how do you think science as a career provides better job opportunities to students? You know, I am a wrong example of that. <laughs> because I, after engineering, got swept away in the tide of doing an MBA. <laughs> And then my father used to work in a bank, and I found my father's job very sexy, very, very, you know, with high status. He had a big office, a big car, a driver, and my mom was a professor in college, and she had a staff room. She didn't have an independent office or any luxuries. So while my parents wanted that I should become an engineer, and they wanted my sister should become a doctor, so that we have a well-balanced family, so that if body parts <laughs> malfunction, doctor can fix it. If appliances <laughs> malfunction, the doctor, engineer can fix it. I, you know, because of the fact that in those times when I was graduating, engineering jobs didn't pay much. Why? Because engineering uh, opportunities were limited, and industries that were employing engineers were mostly what is called as B2B, business to business, where margins are not very much. For example, today if you get employed in a company that makes pumps, hypothetically, they, do, they operate in very few margins. But if you work in HUL, which sells shampoos, of course I can't use shampoos anymore, or soaps or toothpaste, these products are low technology but high margin. So what was happening unfortunately in the past is that well-qualified, well-meaning, intelligent engineers were getting drawn towards the softer areas which is selling soaps and shampoos and paints and things like that. And, or joining banks, the kind of thing that I did in my life. Now, what's happened now, friends, is that the whole paradigm has changed. Now, engineering roles are first abundantly available. Second, they're in industries which have high margin. If you look at TCS, Cognizant, Infosys, Wipro, their margins are three, four times what the margins of, say, Tata Motors, Tata Steel, LNT will have. And which is why today you find much more opportunities. And while MBA may still hold some fancy, I would say that if you really like science, you should pursue science. Sometimes I regret, honestly, that I, I misused or abandoned my science. Uh, so I will probably have to live with a regret all my life. Uh, but I think that if children are interested in science. They must pursue a career in science because today, science is a backbone of the entire economy. Yeah. It's a backbone. So your backbone is like, we have Dr. Dr. Jain here, the musculoskeletal structure of the, of the human body is, is science. Everything else is important, but backbone, the foundation will always be science. Great, great, great answer. In fact, I would like to sum it up that Science is not a subject, it's a way of thinking. You can pursue commerce, you can pursue arts, you can do anything with a scientific thinking. And without scientific thinking, doing anything will not last for long, right? So science gives you those skill sets at the basic level, which actually help you everywhere, whether you do MBA, whether you do CFA, whether you do CAT, whether you take CLAT, any, any exam, Science is actually quite important to build your base.